Good morning. Good afternoon. Welcome back to another episode of the Streetwise English Podcast. My name is Carl. I'm your host for today. Today, I had a song in my head. Do you ever have a song in your head where you can hear the, the lyrics or the melody? And that song was Digital Boy, 21st Century Digital Boy by Bad Religion. And um, I was just thinking about how much a role technology plays in my life. And, you know, starting off from the internet, so we're, I'm always online. I'm sure you are always online. And when you're offline, it kind of makes you nervous. <laughs> if, you don't, if you don't have a, uh, a mo your mobile phone in your pocket, sometimes you get phantom rings where you think that your phone has uh, pinged you or, or is, has rung. That's, uh, we're just, we're, we are really dependent on our technology. So this song, Bad Religion Digital Boy, this was from the, I think it was like the early 90s, maybe mid 90s. And the name of the song is called 21st Century Digital Boy. And the band was Bad Religion, which is a 90s punk band. And uh, I saw them live, by the way. They were, they were very good. So I'm going to look at some of the lyrics here. Starts off by saying, And I don't want it, the things you're offering me, civilized barcode, quick ID. Okay, so the first lines of the song. I don't want it. The things you're offering me. Civilized barcode. Quick ID. Does that sound familiar? All my friends <laughs> with, uh, you know, using um, scanning scanning um, QR codes. And you have that in different social media apps. I know that WeChat is famous for having the QR codes. So now in China, when you meet someone, you don't say, hey, what's your phone number? You say, Ni sawa, hashi wa sao ni. Do I scan you or do you scan me? And what you scan, you, squick, you scan that quick ID, which is mentioned in uh, Bad Religion's song 20 something years ago. So everything is connected and technology it plays a role in every part of our lives. Okay, so the next line in the song is. Don't know how to live, but I've got a bunch of toys. Don't know how to live, but I've got a bunch of toys. Um, so, I don't know what he's meaning by don't know how to live, but maybe he's... Um, I don't know. I don't know. What do you think that means? Uh, the next line, he says, My daddy's a lazy middle-class intellectual... My mommy's on Valium, so ineffectual. So middle a lazy middle class intellectual. So So he's like a uh, middle class intellectual. He's talking about his parents. So basically, he lives a comfortable life, and his mother is on drugs. <laughs> Valium is a, uh, you know, Valium is a type of drug that relaxes you. And um, I don't think people use Valium that much nowadays, but a lot of people are on drugs. Some are medicated one way or another. Um, okay. We are four minutes into this podcast. Thank you for listening. Once again, I'm Carl of the Streetwise English Podcast. I create these podcasts because I learn languages myself through listening to podcasts. And I find them a very effective way to grow my vocabulary and learn about the world and um, through listening. And that's just the way, the way kids learn. And I think it's the best way to learn languages is primarily through listening. So thank you for listening. Okay, back on to technology and the 21st century digital boy. So... The song was just a, um, an inspiration 
for today's podcast. And I encourage you to go ahead and Google or Baidu or whatever your favorite search engine is. Go ahead and search for the song 21st Century Digital Boy by Bad Religion. In the music video, you can see the band members are in what are swimming in digital snow. It's like, you know, when you turn on a TV and they're static, it's just black and white pixels. So that's what TVs used to do. I don't think they do that anymore. But that was symbolizing all things digital. Okay, so they're kind of swimming or drowning in this digital world. Um, all right. So let's talk about what kind of um, digital tools that you have in your life or what kind of digital devices that I have in my life that I use on a daily basis. So everything is smart these days, right? You have a smart watch, which could be made by Apple or Samsung or a, a different brand, but the smart watches, um, you, you can be connected to your calendar, you can calculate how much exercise you get a day. The watch can tell you uh, how much water to drink. Uh, the watch you can have connected to multiple time zones. So let's say you live in New York, but your business partner is in Shanghai. You can have two, two times available on your watch. And so you know what's going on all the time. Smart watch because it's connected to the internet and to an app on your phone. And so that's the smart watch. And then of course we all have laptops. Our laptops are portable computers which we can zoom around with us from anywhere. You know, you can jump on an airplane, throw your laptop in a backpack and you're good to go. And then of course even more mobile than the laptop is the iPad. The iPad is a great device because you can write on it. I, that's why I love my iPad because I have the Apple Pencil. And so writing directly on the screen is very uh, satisfying, especially for note taking. I love taking notes on my iPad. And if you go even more mobile than the iPad, you have your mobile phone. So mobile phones are with us at all times. Like I said earlier, sometimes um, without a mobile phone, you don't feel safe because the mobile phone keeps you connected to the world. You can it keeps you connected to all the people that you that are important to you in your life. And the mobile phone has all the apps, all the data, all the connections that you need in life. So when I was a kid, we didn't have mobile phones. Mobile phones, I think I got my first mobile phone when I was about 25 years old. That's how old I am. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's hard to imagine a life, life before a mobile phone, but it did exist. And uh, a couple more items, smart items. I even use a smart water bottle. So my water bottle has an app connected to it and it has a sensor and it tells me how much water to drink a day. Can you believe it? So everything is smart these days, even water bottles. And uh, lastly, I have uh, headphones. Do you use do you use some fancy headphones? I use bone conduction headphones and they are wonderful and they are digital toys. So I know that um, some of you have them. I highly recommend them. But once again, connected to my ears. So my ears are now smart because I have smart headphones. Next on my list, I have a VR headset, a virtual reality headset. And that is like a complete doorway to a entirely digital world where you, it's a portal that you put on your face and everything you see and experience is artificial. It is virtual. Another word for artificial is virtual reality. So artificial reality. And uh, all these things are, um, they, they, they can help your life. They can improve your 
life, but also there's a cost. So the more time you spend in the virtual world, the less time you spend in the real world. The more time you spend talking online with friends, the less time you have to see your friends IRL in real life. So that's it for today, my friends. I just wanted to talk a little bit about the digital world we live in and the the technical devices that I use to improve my life. I hope you enjoyed that podcast. I've got a lesson to teach now. Thank you for listening. I'm Carl, your favorite um, podcaster, helping you learn American English.